Hello everyone. Uh, this is going to be maybe a couple of videos about this particular guitar here. So a little backstory: a friend of mine was given this guitar for free, and uh, he then gave it to me because it's it's pretty well. It was unplayable. Um, so I decided to take it home and see if it's even worth fixing. Um, basically, I've stripped all the electronics out of it as you can see you've taken the bridge off and the pickups out and all that good stuff and uh, so I'm sort of uh, narrowing down the problems in my head and and seeing if it's worth fixing so let me just go over this a little closer so I've left the uh, bridge ground in there that's the only thing still in here so this guitar is pretty filthy but that's nothing. Uh, that can be clean, no problem. It does have some nicks in it, and some pretty more, some pretty large uh, chips out of the back. But again, that's no big deal to me. Um, the goal here is to make it playable without spending any money if I can. I'm probably going to have to though. Uh, so the fingerboard is pretty dirty. That's not too much of a problem. The frets, though, are, well, they're kind of worn down, but I'm hoping that they're not worn down such that uh, when I string it up it'll be unplayable. It looks like there's still a little bit of meat left, like they're no jumbo frets by any stretch of the imagination, but hopefully it'll be playable. As you can see, the nut's missing. Uh, it was taped on the back uh, right there, so I'm going to have to clean that up. But The nut actually looks pretty decent. Um, I'm just going to have to... The slot is actually um, shaped a little weird. I'm, I'm going to have to uh, sand it or file it a little bit to get this to fit. As it is right now, this doesn't fit very well and actually it just sits up top. It, I can't push it down into the slot because it's a little bit... the slot right here is sort of shaped so there's a lump going out that way. So I'm gonna have to get rid of that to get this to fit in and then I'll glue that down. That shouldn't be a huge deal. A little chip in the fingerboard that's been repaired. Not the greatest, but nobody plays back there so that's fine. And the headstock, yeah, the tuners are pretty much going to have to be replaced. They're very cheap. Uh, that one's missing a, a knob on the end, and one of them's about to fall off. And on the back of the headstock, we can see that the tuners are missing screws. Some of them are all the way out. <laughs> so yeah, the tuners are pretty much have to be done. So. This is a Chinese-made Squire Telecaster, and looks to be made in about 98. So it's been well abused. <laughs> now, I've already tested the pickups. They do still work, so I'm probably going to reuse them. This is them here. Um, as you can see, the covers are kind of gross looking, but whatever. The neck pickup measured around 7.7K, and the bridge pickup measured around 6.3, which I thought was kind of weird. Usually the bridge is more powerful, but at this point, as long as they both work, um, I'm probably going to be happy with that. So the fact that they're showing any sort of DC resistance is a good sign. So that's that. Um, now this electronics plate, uh, is going to have to be completely gutted. As you can see, the switch is broken completely. Um, it may still work, it may not, but the fact is you can't put a tip on it, so that's uh, pretty useless to me. These pots, they look good on this side, but on this side they are rusty. And uh, that one seems to move okay. This one is, yeah. I don't know if you can hear it squeaking, but yeah, it's very... the inside of it's probably rusty, and I doubt it's worth trying to spray some cleaner in there. 
However, I do have um, replacement pots on hand and replacement caps, so that shouldn't be an issue. Might have to order a switch. I don't have a switch like that. So, unfortunately, um, that's a little bit of money I'm going to have to spend, but if that's all I have to spend, that and the tuners, then it'll probably be worth it. So at this point, that's what I'm looking at. Um, I'm going to... Oh, I forgot. I forgot to show you the bridge. This is the bridge that was on it. And yeah, it's pretty rough shape, pretty rusty. But, uh, as you can see, maybe from the body, there, there were holes drilled for through hole stringing, or for through body stringing, but uh, there's no holes on the back, so they were either filled and repainted, or it was just like pilot holes that never got drilled through, whatever. Um, so, this bridge does have uh, stringing through the back of the plate. However, these saddles don't really accommodate that. The string would have to come up through the hole in the back and then go up through the saddle at a weird angle and it would likely be scraping against the adjustment screw and causing all kinds of problems. So it looks like I'm at the very least going to have to replace these saddles so that the, um, the back plate stringing can be used. Um, if not, I'm just gonna have to, like, I'm gonna see what is available in bridges. I might just buy a whole repl replacement bridge and go with that if it's not too expensive. Um, but yeah, otherwise I'm looking at at least replacing the saddles to something a little more friendly to backplate stringing. So, yeah, that's what I'm looking at right now is uh, dealing with the bridge, um, replacing the electronics and getting a new switch in there, and replacing the uh, tuners. Now, if that's all I have to do, that'd be great. Um, the only thing I'm really worried about, because I'm not too... Uh, knowledgeable about this kind of thing is the the nut. Um, I'm pretty confident that I can get it to fit back in there and I can get it glued down but uh, whether or not <coughs> it's cut correctly or, or whether or not the uh, nut is cut too low or needs to be shimmed or whatever I, I have no idea. Um, so if that goes well the rest of the guitar Will, will probably be addressed at some point or another. If not, uh, well, I might just call this one garbage. And the other thing too is <clears throat> because the frets are so worn, um, like I said, I think I can get away with it. Uh, there, There is still a fair amount there. I mean, like I said, it's not jumbo frets, but there, there should be enough there to make it playable. But again, if I... Uh, put the nut in there and then check by uh, stringing a couple of strings up and it just turns out that it's it's the frets are too low and, and needs a refret or whatever I'm just gonna huck this guitar because uh, buying a new neck for this in addition to all the other stuff I gotta do will definitely make it not worth it to me so anyway guys that's what I'm looking at um, I'm, I'm going to be doing this as a video series, but I don't think I'm going to be um, going in too deeply about how I'm going to fix everything and showing you my processes and stuff like that. It'll probably just be updates as I go along and uh, just explanations of what I've done, maybe sh show off my wiring or something. But like I said, I won't be getting into the nuts and bolts of everything because I'm really not uh, not any... I'm not a luthier by any stretch of the imagination. I wouldn't even call myself a tech. But, um, it should be interesting. Anyway, guys, uh... My spoon is too big. Yeah, so somebody wants to get a hold of me. <laughs> so I gotta go. Um, I will talk to you later. Thanks for watching.